Jason and Eric, and today we will be explaining why electron diffusion atoms that break the octet rule exist in some molecules. First, we must explain the octet rule that these molecules break. The octet rule is the tendency for atoms and molecules to bond with other atoms such that each atom has eight electrons in its valence shell. This tendency arises due to two main effects. First, from the differences in energy between NP to N plus 1s orbitals, and second, from the attraction of electrons to each nucleus. The potential energy equation can be used to show the attraction of an electron with a, with a nucleus. Since the electron has a negative charge and the nucleus has a positive charge, there is an attraction. This attraction between electrons and the nucleus persists as long as the effective nuclear charge is positive. However, for the addition of an electron to be favorable, the attraction between the electrons and the nucleus must overcome the energy level of the orbital that it is being placed into. As you can see from the energy level diagram, there is a substantial increase between NP to N plus 1 s orbitals. Therefore, once an atom has bound to other atoms such that its valence p orbitals are completely filled, it is highly unfavorable to gain another electron. There are multiple reasons why an atom can be electron deficient. The first reason we will discuss is having an insufficient amount of total electrons to completely fill the valence p orbital. This can be seen in the BH3 molecule shown here. Boron provides three valence electrons, and each hydrogen provides one valence electron, so only six electrons are available in the molecule. Therefore, boron will not be able to complete its octet because even though all six electrons contribute to fill boron's valence orbitals, two additional electrons will be required to complete the p orbitals. The second reason we will discuss is having a central atom with less than three valence electrons bonding with atoms with higher electronegativities, as in BF3. In BF3, the fluorine atoms have enough electrons to make an additional bond to boron to complete its octet, but such a bond would introduce a negative formal charge on boron and a positive formal charge on the double-bonded fluorine. Since fluorine is significantly more electronegative than boron, it is unfavorable for fluorine to have a positive formal charge and boron to have a negative formal charge when they are bonded together. Therefore, it is more favorable to leave the boron central atom as electron deficient than to add an additional bond and introduce two unfavorable formal charges. The final reason we will discuss is adding a single electron to a molecule that previously obeyed the octet rule. As an example, we will look at CO2 minus. Before gaining an electron, CO2 adopts this Lewis structure. However, after gaining an electron, the molecule must adjust into the most favorable conformation. Since neither carbon nor oxygen can expand their octets, one of the atoms must be electron deficient, leading to multiple possibilities, four of which are shown here. However, since oxygen is more electronegative than the carbon, it is more favorable for carbon to be the electron deficient atom, as shown in the box to Lewis structures. In certain situations, like the ones previously discussed, it is energetically favorable to have electron deficient atoms. In other situations, such as in BH3, electron deficiency is the only possibility. Taking all of this into consideration, while the octet rule is a useful tool in most scenarios, is e a rule that can be broken? With all this in mind, here are a few things to keep in mind when you're approaching molecules that you think might be electrodeficient. First, are there enough electrons? If there aren't ele enough electrons in the molecule to reach eight electrons, you might be looking at an electron deficient central atom. Second, look for electronegativity differences between the atoms in a molecule. Even if there are enough electrons to complete an octet, if an atom is significantly more electronegative than another atom, it may not donate its electrons to complete that atom's octet. Finally, 
Look for unfavorable formal charges in the molecule of interest. If the molecule contains a positive formal charge on a more electronegative atom and a negative formal charge on a less electronegative atom, it may be more favorable to break the octet rule and leave the less electronegative atom as electron division.